For those who missed it, are confused, or just want to discuss, let's talk about the controversy involving Stray Kids' Bangchan and why all of this has been trending. A clip started to resurface and spread of Bangchan dancing to childish Gambino's This Is America. Now, it wasn't him dancing to that particular song that caught backlash, it was actually because he apparently did the pose that is seen in the music video. Among other symbolism in Gambino's This Is America music video, this particular pose has been theorized to represent the racist Jim Crow illustration created in the 1800s. See, Jim Crow is a representation of anti-black racism, segregation, and the denial of basic human rights that were taking place at that time. By the way, that is a very, very brief explanation. I highly encourage you to look more into it before forming an opinion on the matter. But even with that limited context, you can see why Bang Chan doing that pose would elicit such a response. However, just like with anything we discuss, there was a full spectrum of opinions on this. Those who were upset and offended, those who just expressed their disappointment, those who felt like their concerns were being invalidated. You also had people who agreed it was wrong for Bang Chan to do that pose, but truly believed there wasn't a racist intent behind it, that he clearly didn't know what that pose meant or referenced, and this was an opportunity to educate. Well, very quickly after this caught fire, Bang Chan took to bubble and wrote out a personal apology saying even if my intentions meant no harm, it doesn't matter at all because there are people who were hurt by my decisions. He asks for forgiveness of those who were offended and ended with, we, stray kids, do not support any racism in any form and matter. The interesting thing about this apology is that many people believe he posted that to Bubble specifically as quickly as possible in order to prevent JYP Entertainment from interfering, editing, or speaking for him in a way that could somehow distort his true feelings and apology in some way. But then again, JYP Entertainment seems to be very busy trying to end the accusations made against Leo once and for all. Super quick recap, when all the bullying accusations exploded back in February, Leo was one of the idols who was accused. However, it never really had a chance to gain traction because JYP Entertainment quickly denied it and then even sued back for defamation. It wasn't until June that we got an update revealing that the authorities decided decided to drop both of JYP's defamation cases because police said it was difficult for them to charge the accuser when there was no concrete proof they wrote it with the purpose to slander Leah's name. After that, one of Leah's accusers emerged once again, not backing down as they said they are still seeking a genuine apology. So we knew this was not over. Well, the same accuser has once again reappeared this week and revealed that a bunch of former classmates have said they were interrogated by Itzy's man manager or a JYP employee basically asking them what Leo was like in middle school. Also that a detective asked them to meet with Leo's lawyers, but they refused because Leo wasn't going to be there. Now remember, this is only coming from the accusers, so we don't know what's true, what's not. But if you remember JYP's statement when the defamation cases were dropped two months ago, they said the company and Leo wanted to request a reinvestigation. So if this person's post is true, it seems the reason they haven't put in that request yet is because they are in the process of building an even stronger case to clear Leah's name. I guess once again we'll just have to wait and see. JYP Entertainment seems to be very confident with this as it hasn't affected Leah or Itzy's activities or comebacks in the slightest. In Somi's case however, her comeback that we've all been waiting for is starting to share headlines over concerns regarding not just her appearance but most importantly her health. A few days ago Somi herself shared a photo of her height and weight heading into her Dum Dum release and it showed that she was 172 centimeters tall and weighing in at 46.6 kilograms. By the way, that's about 5 feet 6 inches and approximately 102.7 pounds. This post kind of blew up because at her height, which is currently on the taller side for female idols, that weight absolutely alarmed fans, scared for her well-being. The concerns gained even more traction after photos from her comeback showcase were released. Now, on the other hand, Somi has all always been pretty slim. We know she works out and does Pilates. Many are saying it could just be she lost more body fat while keeping or maybe even gaining lean muscle mass because it's not far off from what she has revealed in the past. Also, would she post this or be allowed to post this if she really wasn't feeling healthy? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Remember, no body shaming or any dumb dumb thing like that. Somi is beautiful and the most important thing is that she is happy and healthy because as fans, we should want what's best for the 
these human beings, right? We're not supposed to think, man, I'm such a fan of these artists. I'm gonna make their lives a living elevator. However, my favorite stories involving sasengs are when the tables are turned. We've seen it happen before, like when Wavy decided to flip the script on sasengs who were trying to get pictures of the guys in the bathroom, and now we're seeing it with Treasure and their staff. On the recent 57th episode of Treasure Map, the boys went to Jeju Island, meaning these sasengs didn't just follow them to any location, they followed them to an island. Think about that. As you can probably guess, while the guys were trying to film, these people made it impossible for them to do so. When Treasure got on a boat to film, the Sasengs literally split into two groups and rented two boats to tail the guys. Well, I guess when the production staff got back, they were so fed up, they decided to edit the footage with the Sasengs in the spotlight. The captions were continuously referencing them. The funniest part to me was that they did not blur any of the faces following the boys seemingly on purpose. These sasengs are permanently exposed online. And you'll be glad to hear that reportedly, they were cursing out Treasure staff on Twitter. Well, well, well. How the turntables 